So this is going to be a Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and as well Virgo Rising. A weekly tarot reading, general uh, general weekly tarot reading, January uh, 26th to February 2nd, 2020. And uh, in case, guys, you are interested in uh, getting in touch with me for a private reading, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find uh, a link to my uh, website from which you can purchase and as well after that schedule a, a personal reading. So that being said, moving into the uh, Virgo general tarot reading, this is going to be reading in string, meaning seven cards, no particular positions, whatever the card shows, they show. So just to warn you guys, it doesn't get any general than that. And it could be all over the place. All right. So uh, the first one here is going to be the world. So the world points that this is a, a fantastic week for you, Libra, to set closures. Uh, in terms of finishing projects, finishing uh, endeavors, finishing enterprises as well. Now, the world card on its own, it's because it is the first card, it kind of speaks for a uh, um, peak of experiences, okay? So you finally, after a, a, a deep slog, after a, a lot of efforts, continuous efforts that goes long time in the past, now finally you can kind of finalize that endeavor, finalize that effort and uh, get the rewards from it. It is because the world, it is uh, when it is on its own accord, it is about as well fulfillment, meaning that you are going to be happy of what kind of results you are to achieve. So it's kind of like culmination of things, if I may say it that way. Now, another thing is important with, with, with the world card as well. It is that it does speaks for a certain liberation from a sense that once you finish with that endeavor which could be anything okay uh, going uh, from for example divorce to marriage and going from being poor to uh, establishing your own business uh, this uh, needs to stay now into the past so no biased expectation or no premeditations moving into the future from that stage meaning that you need to face the future pure uh, the next one, uh, which we do have for you, Virgo, that is going to be uh, the Knight of Swords. So we do have an individual here, guys. Knight of Swords, they are very, very tenacious people. One day, uh, once they have a, a goal set in front of themselves, and as they are showing into your reading, meaning that their goal is going to be related to you in any way. For example, you can be their goal. I mean, they could want to be with you in a relationship, all right? Or you can be their goal as a business partner as well. Knight of Swords, they are uh, quite ignorant for the rest, meaning that nothing else matters. So only you matters at that particular week. You and what they can create with you as a, for example, relationship or as a, or as a for example, business. And uh, that could relate to the world, meaning that uh, once you finalize that long-term endeavor here at the start of this week, this person kind of, um, it, this is this provokes into that person a huge interest in you i mean they see you as a very resourceful or as a, a very compatible you know or as a, someone that they simply can have a an awesome future with um you need to know that the knights of swords they are very intellectually agile people they like to think twice before they act so they don't make any mistakes moving along the way but whatever decision they make or in this case the decision to try to chase you or to try to be with you or to try to make a cooperation with you at that point are always consulted with their emotions so you can be sure that what they want to do with you or you know in a cooperation with you it is something they truly want and they are feeling well when they are doing it so if they want to make a relationship with you it is because they are feeling it that way and not because they are finding any kind of a uh, um, secret benefit from it for example or if they want to make a business partnership with you it is because they find it lucrative and because they find it um, exhilarating to do so all right so the third one here that we do have is going to be the Nine of Swords. And Nine of Swords is about facing um, 
your personal fears in a sense of that uh, the fears from what can happen if I do this, what, sh what will happen if I do that. The Nine of Swords points that at that point you will be fully aware of what kind of consequences your actions are going to have on, on your career and on your relationship. While simultaneously you will also going to identify that these actions need to be taken now or in the future and better now and get through with it rather than wait indefinitely for um, with I hope I would say that you will not have to do it but with the nine of swords you have to do it one way or another so uh, looking at this card here uh, it does look like that you will become even braver throughout this week to do what it is necessary in order to reach your closure and because it comes after the Knight of Swords, meaning that that card is manifest itself after you kind of get introduced to the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords may, uh, this archetype of person may serve you as a certain example, seeing you know how tenacious they are and how they are ready to do what it takes in order to be beneficial, to be successful, to be loved, for example, to be lucrative. That will boost your self-confidence as well, enthusiasm and how do I say it, determination if you will, to get through with all the um, unpleasant aspects of your endeavors and uh, of your enterprises as well. Now, uh, just one second to regain control over my camera, guys. Okay, so uh, now the next one here is going to be the lover's card for what it seems. And uh, the lover's card tells us a few things now that the, the whole process of that week is going to be so you can uh, resolve uh, deep issues in regards to your career and in regards to your relationship. But the, mo the majority of those issues as well, once you overcome your fears and you are determined to do what it takes, you know, to make progress in your life, either career or relationship wise, will start resolving themselves on, a, on their own accord. Now, the lover's promises you a uh, harmonious relationships, not just uh, intimate relationships, guys, but all kind of relationship, business relationships, friendship relationships, and so on and so forth. But the lover's card at the bottom of it, it resides a decision that you will have to make, how you should proceed after you reach that culmination of things. And that decision, uh, it's neither whatever you decide in favor of, it will be neither wrong or neither right because this is about the lover's card decision it, the decision there is no wrong or right decision it's all about your personal preferences and whatever you decide in favor of you have to live with the uh, consequences of the decision not taken okay or how do you say it with the path none taken. So uh, it will be a difficult point. It should manifest itself around the mid to the end of the week at that point where you have to decide, for example, uh, which job you should take. Okay, the well-paid one or it sucks doing it or the one that you would love doing it, but it is not well paid. OK, and so there is no win or no lose situation in that particular case. But you need to live with the consequences that if you take the job that it is well paid, you ain't going to work what you love. Or if you take the job that you would love working, you ain't going to be paid as much as you want to be paid. OK, and, uh, and it's uh, basically the lover's card point that you are going to reach to a real real realization at the mid of the week uh, sneeze alert <coughs> oh my god <laughs> oh my god all right so you're going to reach the realization at the mid of the week that you cannot have it all and you have to at the end of the day draw a certain line and be in peace with what you can get so you gotta take what you can get by the mid of the week the uh, fifth card here is going to be the Nine of Wands. We do have a lot of Nine of Wands here into the readings. And in your case, uh, Virgo, that card points that you will be exceptionally good in uh, making the most out of what you can work with career-wise or relationship-wise. Even more than that, the Nine of Wands points that... Uh, this long journey that you have undertaken up until this moment, which allows you to make to reach a culmination of your things, 
are also gifted you with a vast amounts of experience and based on that experience this card it is a confirmation that you are going to do an, an exceptional job of making the strategy what kind of direction you are going to take from now on and even though you may not be able to have it all here with the lover's card with your future endeavor that card points that you are going to make the most out of what you can have and at the end of the day it doesn't look like that you are going to regret your decision or the fruits of the labor that that decision is going to provide to you and the nine of wands also points that you are going to take at that point these precautionary measures for your future endeavor saying for your future relationship or for your future business endeavor so no one actually can dispute that and no one can jeopardize the future benefits of your future relationship of your current marriage say or of a the job that you are doing so just to summarize a little bit here guys it is that this week it is a, a week where you have to face the future and you have to uh, determine yourself if you will to do what it takes in order to uh, <clears throat> manifest that future as we saw with the nine of swords that some of the of the consequences of your actions are not going to be exactly pleasant but they need to be taken on uh, the next one another sneeze alert oh my god i think i am getting sick guys so the sixth of uh, the the sixth card here is going to be the death one and the whole week it is that preparation here for your jump moving forward into the future with uh, with the death so uh it's like as we said with the world that you are to open another chapter or you are to close a chapter in your life the death marks the opening of the other chapter the death points that up until this point many things are in flux and some of those things or the majority of them for that matter they need to simply stop existing in your life that is that could be counted as habits that could be counted as well as people they are simply outdated they serve their purpose and now it's time for you to let go of them it could be as well goals you know it could be as well uh, certain structures into uh, into your lives like routine and uh, routines and so on and so forth now the death card should not be taken as the life is ending and all these kind of stuff instead the death card should be accepted as the life does not end it's simply changing so we can see that that week is going to be a week where you are going to transform a a great deal with the help of this knight of swords which is going to serve as a uh, uh, what was I about to say which is going to serve as an example to you how once you set a goal in front of the, of yourself only that goal should matter moving on forward and the right and the, the tough decision will become much much less uh, overwhelming at that particular point the decision which was marked with uh, with the lover's card here but one is certain here with the death card guys that uh, whatever wants to walk away from your life either career um endeavor or either relationship endeavor you should not show any resistance whatsoever because it's it's simply not going to serve any purpose moving into the future it's just going to be a dead weight it's just what the, the the death card here points so you can expect a, a major 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 change into structures and as well into routines habits and performance as well throughout this week to set place from which you are going to feel like renewed because that's the purpose of the death card the old life gives place or, or space if you will to the new life to take place which would mean uh, new projects new relationships you know new love if you will and so on and so forth as a matter of fact these cards may point the end of old love and the start of a new one or it could point to the end of old job and the start of a new one by the help of this knight of swords and the last card for you is going to be the chariot card here so the chariot card in that particular case it does play a little bit of a uh, 
strange role here. It does urge you not to take any premature actions in that particular case. It is because the chariot card, it does represent the fulfillment of um, the, the wish fulfillment and as well the luck of the hard work that you are to incorporate moving forward into the future. And of course, that means that you should not take the easy way out, but instead you should take the right way out. Okay. And also the chariot is about uh, triumphing uh, and winning against all odds. So to me at least it does speaks that that change that is going to come around throughout this week for you, uh, Virgo, it will present itself a, a quite of a big challenge for you. And maybe this is why you are going to be afraid of, um, of the consequences of your actions, you know. Maybe this is why you will need to restructure a bit your strategies that came about into the Nine of Wands here, and you will have to let go of certain concepts, you know, and, and, and habits as well and routines, but that re, re, redefinition of your strategy will allow you once again to win against the odds, to overcome challenge that up until this moment you haven't even thought that you are capable of even undertaking at a certain point, not to mention that it's going to make your wish fulfilled moving forward into the future and as well it will grant a personal presence. I don't know how to say it in English, guys, but it is like people are going, people and situations as well, everything is going to take you as a unique individual, someone that simply cannot be replaced, either career-wise or either relationship-wise as well. But, but just do not take any premature actions, like jumping into premature relationship just so, just in sake of being with someone or taking a, a premature project without thinking carefully how you are to manifest it one way or another. So that being said, Virgo, this was your weekly uh, general tarot reading, January 26th to February 2nd, 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, with that being said, uh, we are going to see each other uh, next time. Until then, bye.